Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Looks like I'm here. The Twilight Sepulchre. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Closest location was the Cracked Tusk Keep, which isn't far from Fall Creeth. check my parchment to see what exactly I'm here for. With the skeleton key of Nocturnal safely in my possession, I'm bound for the Twilight Sepulcher to return it to its resting place. supposed to speak to a nightingale sentinel. I take it that ghost up there is such a sentinel. Since I'm arguably a nightingale, I shouldn't be in any danger. Nightingale sentinel? I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I'd ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. Sounds familiar. I've also been betrayed. How are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't but have lured Mercer me Frey? and stolen the skeleton key. Wait a moment. You're Gallus? We've been betrayed by the same person. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? I have the skeleton key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Dead. Then... It's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I did this to get rich. Were I able to provide it, I'd shower you in wealth for what you've done. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlia helped me. Carlia? She's still alive? Whoa, whoa, calm down. I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key and right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, die. How can a spirit die? The sepulcher isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. 
When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then I'll have to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebon Head and replacing the key. What's wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinels? With the Ebonmere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose, or their original identities. Great. Why aren't you like them? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the Sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebon Mirror was sealed. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. How does the Ebon Mirror affect all of us? The Ebon Mirror is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Luck is meaningless. What we do involves skill. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. How's that changing the way things are? Think about the guild, about the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. Well, I really don't agree with what you're telling me. But with the Ebon Mirror closed, you're saying that your luck has run dry. Because my locks, my picks don't break. And I haven't noticed any clouds parting at inopportune moments. So, this is all your belief and not mine. Precisely. There are a few who still call Nocturnal Lady Luck. And for good reason. Can't you just take the key? Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels is starting to affect me, too. Of course it is. As I get closer to the Ebon Mirror, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. What will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Good luck, Nightingale. Yeah, thanks. All right. According to my compass, there should be something over here. Yes, a skeleton. I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to see even a single gold coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we've been posing as the priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. And as an acolyte of Nocturnal, 
I've been assigned a mentor, old dark elf by the name of Lythelus. Maybe if I act the part, I can pry some information from him about the pilgrim's path. Anders swears to me that all of the temple's wealth is stashed within their inner sanctum, which supposedly sits at the end of the path. So my job is to get us through the obstacles alive. Lythelus was easier to cope, coax than I expected. Gave me a wealth of information on the pilgrim's path, but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to record what I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. The only thing Lythelus seemed clear about was that there were five tests on the path. This what he said about each. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Above all, they stand, vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk yet continuous of the glow. Offer what she does, what she desires most, but reject the material, for her greatest want is that for which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Direct and yet indirect, the path to salvation, a route of cunning, with fortune betraying the foolish. The journey is complete. The empress embrace awaits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. He also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like, Night is the new day, and how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic sentiments mean, but hopefully during tomorrow's ritual, Anders and I will put everything we've learned to the test. All right, let's go see what this is all about. should be sneaking because there are corrupted sentinels about to me my blade one now. Probably not the best idea I've come up with. sides.
Jake, keep some cover here between me so I heal. Come on, come on. All right. Need to change our tactics here. To me, my bow. my bow. Alright, looks like we've got one left. trouble with these kill cams. Oh my god, what, am I gonna get killed? The camera is frozen. Okay, here we go. Mmm, my bow won't work either. To me, my blades. sloppy but I made it through okay let's see elven arrows are pretty valuable let me make sure I collect all of these all right we're gonna have more through here To me, my bow. Oh, maybe they came out when we were fighting. Gather, I have to stick to the shadows. The light will destroy me. Oh, and that's not all. I watch out for these traps. See if there's a trip wire up here. Ah, oh, there is. Whoa.
looks like there's one here. No, that's not a trip wire. I'll just jump over. What? Oh, there's one here, though. We've seen dragon bone weapons until now. All right, this looks like a statue. test this makes. Uh, Alright, we've got gold here. Let's take that. Oh, I didn't want the plate, but it's alright. We'll get rid of it later. I think these are actually some of the tests that I've just completed. Make a run for it then. To me, my bow. Choices. Seems like I should have gone through that iron door. Oh, oh no. I thought I was back to where I was before, but this is another area. Thank <laughs> you. 
so I better be able to kill him. All right, there's somebody else here. see him so oh there he is and I don't see any stairs that I can get back up to the top Gone. oh here we go the living are right to fear <laughs> Confidence is going to be your undoing. All right. What do we have down here? Nice lock picking increase. What else have we got here? Way to go here. Okay, all right, we came through here. through here. Alright, this is where I bypass this door. Ah, I guess this is where we need to go. The inner sanctum.
of faith. To me, my blade. Oh, Anders. It was talked about in the journal. What does his message say? I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all of these ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorized Nastrum's clues he'd collected from Lothellus, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Oh, that's sad. Ooh, Iron Dagger of Slaying. It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world, or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See to it that you stay. Won't you? Carlia? Really? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Seems like something you could have done yourself. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Pleased? She sounded indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What is this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of stealth, the Half Moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of strife. Why can't I be all of these? All three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. 
And you? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. <laughs> we may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Tell me about the Agent of Stealth. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Tell me about the Agent of Subterfuge. The Agent of Subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Hmm. Tell me about the Agent of Strife. The Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. Choose okay. your path, and your journey will be complete. Well, it's a lot of choices. Yes, fellow Nightingale. So, what? Carlia, it's Gal, it's Gallus. I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, We'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Um, was he supposed yes, to... Oh, okay, go. there he did disappear. Um, I can't tell what these things are. Wait, did I already choose one? I guess so. Certainly not consciously, anyway. Or do I... Do I walk through here? Let's, let's see what happens. I don't think I chose the right one. Hmm. Oh well. I thought the one I was choosing would make me invisible when I crouched. I don't know what happened. It didn't seem like I really even got a choice. But we'll come back some other time then. Oh, and it says wait a full day. I wonder if I can just, uh, eh, I'm not going to worry about it. All right. Well, we have completed Darkness Returns. And now we'll finish up with the Thieves Guild and uh, see about taking my place as the guild master until next time yeah.